A has the highest common factor of 96 plus B and 187 plus B. A is greater than 1 and is co-prime with 504. Find the smallest natural number value B can take. There's A, there's B and then there's HCF of these two numbers. All of these questions I like by starting saying, like, let me put a value for B. A is a natural number, B is also a natural number. I'm going to put B equal to 1. So I'm talking about 97 and 188. 97 is prime, 188 is 94 into 2. The HCF of these two numbers is 1. I'm putting B as 1. Put B as 2. This becomes 98, 189. This is 2 into 7 into 7. This is a multiple of 3. 3 into 63. This is interesting. 2 into 7 into 7. This is 3 into 63. 3 into 3 into 21. So 3 cube into 7. This is 2 into 7 square. Or the HCF is 7. So nice, lovely. So we put B is 2. This is a multiple of 7. This is a multiple of 7. So HCF is 7. A is greater than 1 and is co prime with 504. A is greater than 1, we've got ourselves a 7. Maybe this is the answer. But A is co prime with 504 or A has nothing in common with 504. So I would be very disappointed if there's something in common between 504 and 7. But then that won't be my answer. 7 won't be my answer. Then A is not 7, B is not 2. It doesn't work. Let me check this out. Right, so A is 504. 2 into 252, 2 into 2 into 126, 2 into 2 into 2 into 63, oops, this is 7 into 9, I know that, so this is 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 3 square, this has a 7 in it, A cannot be 7, A is co-prime with 504, A is not 7, so, damn, this is doesn't work, this doesn't work, and I put B equal to 3, this number becomes 99, this number is 190. This is 9 into 11. This is not a multiple of 9. This is not a multiple of 3. This is not a multiple of 11. They are co-prime. I put A, B equal to 4. This becomes 100. This becomes 191. Nothing in common. Nothing, nothing here. Right? Now I'm thinking, hey, interesting. Uh, but I can't do this. I can't keep doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I need to find a method. Right? So A is the HCF of these two numbers. And so I'm going to call this 96 plus B as M. 96, 187 plus B as N. A is the HCF of M and N. Brilliant. So, interestingly, A is the HCF of M comma N. Or A divides M, A divides N. We know A is greater than 1. So A is some number which is a factor of M, which is a factor of N. Or M can be called as A into P, N can be called as A into Q. So 96 plus B is AP, 187 plus B is AQ. Why am I doing all this? For one beautiful idea, which is if A divides M, A divides N, that means A will divide M minus N this minus this, this minus this. If I subtract n minus m, that will be a q minus a p, a times q minus p. Or, if I subtract this from this, 187 minus 96 is 91, this a times q minus p, or a divides 91. If a is the HCF of two numbers, then a definitely different, divides the difference between the two numbers. I am through. A divides 91. A is a factor of 91. 91 factors of 91. 91 can be written as 1 into 91. 13 into 7. A has to be 1, 7, 13 or 91. One of these four is A. That much I know. A is not 1. A is greater than 1. A is not 7. Why? Because A has nothing in common with 504. 504 is a multiple of 7. That is out. So A is either 13 or 91. It could be 91. It could be 13. I want to find the smallest natural value, number value B can take. 
on the small value, I'm going to put A as 13. I'm going to say if A can be 13. Let me now say that the smallest, the, the, the highest common factor of these two numbers is 13. Now let's work with this. So 96 plus B, 187 plus B, let's say both of these are multiples of 13. 13 into 5 is 65, 13 into 7 is 91, 13 into 8 is 104. Let's ask, let's see if that works. 96 plus something should give us 104, this something is 8. I'm going to add the same thing there, 187 plus 8 is 195. 195 divided by 13, one time. 15 times, so this is 15 into 13, this is 8 into 13. So 13 is indeed the HCF of 104 and 195. A could be 13, which means B could be 8. The key thing here, if A is the HCF of M and N, then A is the HCF of M and M minus N. A is a factor of M, A is a factor of N, A is definitely a factor of M minus N. You should look at this and say 96 plus B, 187 plus B. These two numbers are 91 removed. They have a distance of 91 in between them. That means A should be a multiple of that 91. I'm going to do this idea in a slightly different way as well. I know you've got the answer. Answer is 8. 12 percent have got it right. If you have a number line, right? somewhere on this number line, 96 plus B will be there. Somewhere on this number line, 187 plus B will be there. We are saying A is a factor of both of these, not just a factor, highest common factor. That means if you recite A tables in your mind, think about that. A divides both these numbers. I have a zero here. If I say A, 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 it has to sit here. And then I do A, 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 A. it has to hit here also. Or this distance, which is 91, is a certain number of times A. Or A is a factor of 91. A divides both of these numbers. A into something, keep jumping in steps of A, you will hit here. Keep on jumping, you will hit here also. That means from here to here, I am making a certain number of jumps of A. Or this difference is a multiple of A. Done. That means R A is a factor of 91. Either 1, 7, 13 or 91. It's not 1, it's not 7, plunk in 13, you're through. Hush.